What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. And in this week's Chord Progression Monday, we are going to check out a Circle of Fifths progression in the style of the late, great Eddie Van Halen. Now, most of Eddie's playing is beyond the pale for me, so, but tapping has always kind of been there, so I thought this would be a fun take on a very simple concept, okay? So before we get started, I am in standard tuning, down in the link below, down in the description below, you can find a link for the tabs, okay? So what is a circle of fifths progression? Really fast, right? We're gonna move backwards across the circle of fifths, but within a given key. And what that allows us to do is use every single chord that's found in a key. Now on this channel, I've talked about chord scales before, right? Um, I think they're really important. I think they're really beneficial beneficial for guitar players to learn, right? Gives us all the keys and chord qualities in a given key. Now, what we're gonna do is we cycle backwards around the circle of fifths. So we are in the key of A for this example. And what I mean is we're gonna start on B, and then the next chord is E, then the next chord is A, and then the next chord is D, then G sharp, C sharp, F sharp. And then following the pattern, we start over back at B again, right? So now if you look at the circle of fifths, you'll notice that we start going to the flat territory, right? But this is diatonic, meaning we're in the key. So we're just using the notes in this A major scale, right? So it's B minor, E major, A major, D major, G sharp diminished, C sharp minor, F sharp minor. Okay, so those, that's the chord progression, but what about the tapping aspect of it, right? So one of the things in this particular style, like eruption style tapping, is that what Eddie's doing, he's playing chords, right? He's tapping three notes and those three notes make a chord, and that's kind of what we're doing here, right? So that first chord is B minor, so we have 7th fret on the E string, is that's B, 10th fret is D, 14th fret is F sharp. That makes a B minor chord. Okay, now we're gonna take stretch out, keep the B, jump up to E, and move up to 16 here, and this gives us G sharp. That's an E major chord. I'm gonna step up the G sharp to A, move this up to C sharp and E, or 9 and 12. That is now my a major chord. Okay, keeping on the A, moving up one more, I have D and F sharp, or 10 and 14. There is my D major chord. Moving back down, I have B, D, and G sharp. There is my G sharp diminished chord. Jumping back up to 9, 9 and 12, C sharp and E, staying on the G sharp or 16, that gives me C sharp minor. Right? Moving down to 14, F sharp, now I grab 9, 5 and 9, A, C sharp, F sharp. Here's my F sharp minor chord. Now, in the progression, I actually take this A and I make it A sharp. That makes this an F sharp major chord. And the reason I did that, to give it a stronger resolution, right? F sharp is the five chord of B. Get that dominant seven chord in there, back to the B minor chord, right? Which is back to the beginning, which is where we started, okay? And then I did a fun little thing imitating what he does in eruption, right? I play E here on 12, so it's B, D, and E, which is essentially an E7 chord. And I move that down by half step. Give some fun chromatic movement, right? I do that and then I do that based on D7. And then I do it on C7. Right? And just a fun little chromatic movement to put an end to this, right? So there you go, a circle of fist progression in the style of the late, great Eddie Van Halen. I hope you think this was fun. Using tapping like this is a great way to outline chord progressions, right? Down in the description below, you can find a link for the tabs. And as always, let me know what you come up with. So until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.